Hello from the Jaspersoft team here at Tipco. Our hope is that by the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of what Jaspersoft is. We'll introduce you to the Jaspersoft platform, its core capabilities, and the key steps in the process of distributing BI to consumers across a spectrum of channels. Let's get started. Let's begin by looking at the Jaspersoft platform itself. At the heart of this is the Jasper Report server, where dashboards and ad hoc views can be created, and where all Jaspersoft content can be stored, accessed, and distributed from. Next is Jaspersoft Studio, a leading desktop tool for the creation of precision reports with control over the finest details. Finally, Jaspersoft ETL bridges the divide between data sources and Jaspersoft by carefully tuning the ways in which the two interact. Each of these components has a unique role in powering the capabilities we're about to cover, starting with reports. Reports are the foundational capability of Jaspersoft, distributing information efficiently within and beyond an organization. This can be directly within the Jasper Report server, as one of a number of file types, as part of web pages or other applications, or natively on mobile devices. They can be fine-tuned to pixel-perfect specifications, whether they must be consistent across all channels or if they need to change, depending upon the method of distribution. The second major capability, dashboards, can be structured to guide users through stories in the data or to simply provide information at a glance. They are composed of charts and other elements, such as iframes, images, or crosstabs, that can be interacted with in a drillable manner to different pages, dashboards, reports, or other content. Dashboards can automatically refresh their own data, and much like the reports that they are closely related to, they are fully embeddable and mobile-ready. Jaspersoft strives to place control in the hands of end users, cutting down demand on developers and IT. As a result, the web-based interface has been designed with a self-service focus. So users themselves are putting together dashboards, reports, and managing their own data sources with simple drag-and-drop commands. Now that we've rounded out our look at the core capabilities of Jaspersoft, let's move on to discussing how it accomplishes them. Each of the three capabilities we just went over are realized through these four steps. A platform is chosen for Jaspersoft to be deployed onto. Data is then fed in and organized before being placed in reports and dashboards. These are then distributed through a range of channels, whether that's through email or as part of an application. Let's take a more detailed look at each of these. Jaspersoft is built on ubiquitous industry standards such as Java and HTML5 within a flexible commercial open source package. This flexibility in where and how it can run gives developers a high degree of control over how they can architect their solution. Jaspersoft can be deployed on-premise, in the cloud, in Docker containers, in addition to other options like AWS. It can also be set up as a multi-tenant environment. It has integration with single sign-on services and is built to scale horizontally to meet peak demand. This puts the organization's requirements at the center of Jaspersoft's final configurations. The next step in this process is to connect Jaspersoft to the data. Jaspersoft takes an agnostic view towards the source of its data. And so getting data from relational databases, NoSQL, big data sources, or hosted solutions are all well within Jaspersoft's capabilities. SQL queries are written to specify the data you want, and then it can be structured in a fine-grained, reusable way with data domains, which constitute the metadata layer. Jaspersoft also has an aforementioned native tool for handling ETL processes to ensure clean data in the event there may be erroneous or problematic values. Additionally, a thorough caching mechanism underpins all of this to assist with performance. The authoring stage is where you'll really start to see things come together. With the data now available and structured, it can be quickly assembled into reports and dashboards. There are two main tools for doing this. The server's web interface and Jaspersoft Studio. The Desktop Studio's role is to create pixel-perfect reports as well as smaller dashboards. These can then be used as parts of dashboards in the web interface's designer, which itself also boasts the ad hoc editor. For more on the fly types of charts. The delivery stage is of course the most important of them all. The Jaspersoft platform sports a variety of ways that reports and dashboards can be accessed and distributed. This can be through the built-in interactive reports viewer, or a scheduler to deliver reports in a variety of file formats according to a set of rules. It can also be done by directly embedding it into applications. For instance, the Visualize.js library is provided with Jaspersoft, which makes including a chart as a part of a web page as simple as a few lines of code. This is in addition to iframes and REST APIs, which add additional ways to programmatically interact with the Jasper Reports server. With that, we've reached the end of our quick tour of Jaspersoft. 
We've discussed how the platform, the JasperSoft Studio and Jasper Report server, can connect to data sources and generate reports and dashboards that are ready-made for delivery wherever they are needed. If you want to learn more, you can watch the other videos in this series, and be sure to check out the Quick Start Guide on our website. We hope to see you there.